Hello, I'm Mix Mars and Man, and welcome to my channel. Today's video will also be my little tiny Riley oh, boy. boy. And Pippi Pippi Pippi. Yes, yeah, Pippi, she's in her bed. Um, in today's video, we're going to be working on a little tiny Cobra um, rotary mower, which um, I got free of charge from Cobra. The machine is brand new, all bar. It won and running for about 30 minutes. Um, however, I left the fuel in over winter, and the machine now will not start, and um, it is brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. So bad on me for leaving the fuel in. It was in the shed all winter, but hey ho, the fuel has gone bad. And even in, even in an enclosed environment, the fuel has gone bad. So I want to get this machine up and running because this machine, I'm going to give away free of charge on this channel. A brand spanking new um, lawnmower for one of you guys or girls, um, if you want it. Um, and uh, in the video, you'll find out how to win this, um, win this uh, little lawnmower. The only provisory is um, I would prefer it to go to somebody who's going to use it rather than just gonna um, just sell it on. And secondly, um, to win this machine, all you've got to do is send me an email um, and just sort of pleading your case as to why you, you, you deserve a free lawnmower. Um, the only other one thing I've got is you're gonna have to, um, sort, uh, I will sort the shipping out for you. I'm in Bognor Regis on the South Coast. If you live in Edinburgh, I can sort the shipping for you, but you'll have to pay the shipping, the batch only provisory. So that's it, a nice little lawnmower. Um, Free of charge, but they're about 350 quid, aren't you? Something like that. So you can get a nice lawnmower for, for the price of shipping, or you can come pick it up for Mixed Mars and Mower Man direct. So there you go. So, a quick little video coming up on how to do a carburetor clean, I'm guessing, maybe a spark plug change on these Cobra lawnmowers, get it up and running, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, don't forget to check out this video um, to see how you can actually win uh, this lawnmower um, and come to your house. And machine's only done about half an hour's work. How cool is that? Yeah. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mars and Mower Man, hit your subscribe button and whack the old bell. Thanks. That way you'll be told next time I've done the video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's get this Cobra lawnmower up on the bench and try and get it to start up. Right, so here is the lawnmower. As you can tell, a bit dusty, but it's, it's brand far and new. Let me just show you what I mean. Uh, the lawnmower has done no work at all. Nothing. It is clean. In fact, even underneath, I dare say, a little bit of grass cutting underneath there, but not a lot. It is brand new. The blade's done nothing. This is a self-propel. Self side discharge mulching uh, lawnmower and its age is 2023. There you go, brand spanking new mower. So this mower was given to me by Cobra and they said, Mr. Mowers, can you do a review on my mower? And once you've done it, if you want to give it away to one of your subscribers, then you can do so. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got no, I've got no need for it. I've got loads of mowers because I am mixed mowers. That's exactly what I am. So I don't need, I don't need it. I've got loads of my own. And uh, I prefer a roller on the back of my mower, so that's just me, but a brand spanking new mower, free of charge, um, could be coming your way very shortly. So let's get on, let's get some tools out, we'll get this carburetor off and go from there. Right, so um, so these lawn mowers, they, they sell for around about 280 quid. That's how much they are roughly, if you can find them. They're currently out of stock in a lot of places, but they're about 280 quid. So you could get a lawn mower from, I think, I think the cost, of, I can get shipping from here to Edinburgh, for around about 70 quid, right? So you could get a lawnmower for 70 quid, brand spanking new. As I say, it's only done about half an hour's work. If that, if you watch my review, if you punch in mixed mowers and then the word Cobra, uh, you'll find there's loads of videos on there, obviously, and then uh, there'll be one of this machine which I actually reviewed. So I'm giving it away, but I can't give it away if it ain't running. Brand new air filter. So let's just um, start to take these off. Now, as these are quite a new machine, there won't be many videos on fixing them. Although they are very similar to lots of the other ones that, that are about. Right, so look here, does that come off? We've got, an air, got an, the air pipe on the back needs to, needs to be disconnected. Let's have a quick little sneaky peek. Yeah, so the, the, the vent pipe at the back That'd be really hard to get off that wall because that'd be brand spanking new. There you go. So these are very similar to a Mountfield 414s. Let me just bring you in here just so you can see. Right, so when before you take the carburetor off, you've got the little tiny pipe here, that pipe there, see it? That's got to go on that little tiny tube there when it goes back on. All right, that's your crankcase breather pipe. And then you've got a little tiny pipe here, which is on your primer. It's got a little tiny clip on it just here. Remove that clip. Like that. Don't lose that gasket yet, Mick. 
Oh, bear with me guys, I'm just trying to get it all done properly for you. And then just remove that little tiny uh, that primer bowl pipe that come off. So there's a carbon, it's all entirely. Let me, let me just resit you, yeah, so you can get a bit close because a few more bits have got to come off before we get this carburetor taken off. So let me get you resituated. Right, so back up and running. So this little tiny gasket here, as you will see, there's a little tiny hole in this gasket just here. And that, that's got to go underneath a little tiny brass um, um, impulse hole there. That's got to match up that when it goes back on, okay? So just take a picture of that now so you know which, which way around that goes. That goes down there. Got to remove the fuel line. Uh, take the clip off first. Now, I've got a pair of short nose stubby, short nose stubby pliers. Yeah. Once that clip's been removed, you just get hold, of your, get hold of your fuel hose and then just give it a bit of a twist, just, just to break the seal. You see it starting to lick a, bit, lick a bit of fuel and then that just come off and hold it up in the air. Because what I don't want to do now, I don't now want to get petrol all over this lovely machine that um, I'm giving away to someone. So let me find a pair of forceps. I'm going to clamp that fuel off, just like so. I'm going to poke that fuel line back up on itself, up out of the way, so that it doesn't leak fuel absolutely everywhere. I might need to get a better pair of forceps, Mickey boy. It's my name. Yeah, I'm trying to work, work with a Riley boy in the, in the house as well. He's here. He wants to get involved. He just said to me, do we need a hammer? Boy after my own heart. Right, Riley, in that cupboard down there, you'll find a rag. Can you pass me a rag, please, buddy? Just a rag. In that drawer, in that, in that cupboard down there, mate. In that cupboard. Yeah, in there. Yeah, open the cupboard, yeah. Open that up. And uh, find me a, a little rag, please, buddy. Yeah, anyway, yeah, get a pink one. Yeah, pink one's fine, yeah. Just pull it out. That's it. And then I'm just going to put that under there, just to protect the, uh, the lawnmower body itself. Right, next thing to do would be to pull the carburetor forward slightly. And then so open the throttle all the way up and there's a little tiny spring that needs to be removed just here. Yep. So just gently pick it up and take that off. And then there's a, a governor spring, a governor arm has got to come off as well. Now you may find that it won't come all the way off very easily. So what you want is get a little, little tiny flathead or Phillips screwdriver and just um, unscrew this this screw, unscrew it. There's about three threads out the other side of it, but that will then allow you to open the governor arm all the way up. And then your governor arm will just come straight up and out, okay? Once the governor arm is off and out, just want to push back that little tiny gasket, the green one, push that back, and then we should be able to, let's see how Cobra made this, oh, okay. So we should be able to slide it past that, hopefully. If not, we've got to remove. There you go, it will come. Right. So slide it past this plastic piece here. It will come. And there's your carburetor in its entirety. So let's get the carburetor cleaned. And then we'll go from there. Right, so carburetor time. 10 mil. And let's loosen up the, the, the bowl. Now I can tell by the state of the fuel that my fuel has actually gone off over winter. So this is a classic case of fuel left in the machine over the winter and you can see how yellow it is it looks like a urine sample right that's the reason why this lawnmower is not running purely because the fuel is over 30 days old i should have drained it out and i didn't so it's my fault so let me get my screwdriver set some bits and some bobs so I'm going to want uh, a screwdriver, definitely, and I want some GT85 or carburetor cleaner. I'd much rather use a GT85, to be honest. GT85, where are you? Now I've got three or four tins of that somewhere. Right, so I've just picked up my little tiny screwdriver. Now, if you haven't got a, a jetting screwdriver, just get one and just file it all down nice and flat so it's not bulbous on the sides, and that way you can get right inside these main jets, there's a screw inside here, a little tiny brass one, they don't go mad, it don't, doesn't require you to go mad, there's a little tiny brass jet inside here. Now, I've been getting lots of phone calls recently from people saying they're doing carburetors, some good comments, some not, some not so good. But the good comments are always worth reading, the bad comments are just, are just, are just worth blocking. But there's your emulsion tube, and your main jet just falling out, okay? 
Um, and look, a good size screwdriver will sort that out. I'm also going to remove the slow idle screw and the slow idle jet circuit, which is here. Just prise up nice and gently. Take your time with it. Put it to one side. Now you've got holes that come in through here, all the way through, out through, through here, down, around the other side, and out through a hole here. So you've got holes all over this carburetor. So the best thing to do, now I, I don't recommend carburetor spray, and lots of people do sort of question me for that, but when using carburetor spray, it can expand O-rings. It doesn't so much on the Honda carburetors, but it does so much on the other ones. So if you've got a, an O-ring like that, that will expand it, okay? So I, I don't tend to keep anything near those, and those little tiny O-rings on here, they'll expand as well, so keep them well out of the way. But apart from that, I use GT85, it's a really good cleaner, and it doesn't tend to um, uh, expand the uh, O-rings, or I just use good old-fashioned WD-40 as a cleaner, despite the fact it is a water displacement fluid. Right, I've had that argument and all. So all I'm gonna do is literally, if there is a hole in this carburetor, I'm literally gonna poke my straw in, and I'm gonna clean every single orifice I can. And you'll see, as I'm cleaning it, it coming out of different, different holes. I'll block this hole up and run it through. I'll go down through this hole down here through the center. There's one in there somewhere, just down there. And that'll come out down the bottom here, see? Yeah, so anywhere where, where there's a hole, you're gonna put this in, and you're gonna try to get fluid to come out of all the orifices, so it's all, it's all running. Just be very, very thorough in everything that you do. And you're looking for any signs of dirt that may affect the running of this carburetor now. A grain of sand will do it. And that's why your fuel has to be A1. So darn good clean. Now once you're happy with the state of your carburetor, get a piece of rag, an old t-shirt, pair of your wife's old pants, whatever you've got, give it a good shake and then just wrap that carburetor up so that nothing else can get um, affected by, by uh, any outside debris. Now, the next thing in the arsenal of cleaning carburetors is a pair of these. These are uh, gas tip file cleaners and they look just like that. Three or four pound off of eBay or Amazon. Now, the smallest one we do, which would be, have a look here, It'd be one of these two, it'd be that one there. Come here, that one there. Literally, there's a hole inside this main jet and that hole is open, I can see it's open. I'm gonna file it. And all I'm doing is I'm paying particular attention to the side wall, so I'm applying a little bit of sideways pressure as I'm filing. Now, I'm not making this hole any bigger, guys, girls. I'm literally just taking the ethanol off of the side walls. I had a fantastic comment the other day saying a bloke had, he had mucked about, he was quite, um, <laughs> he was quite vocal in the comment about uh, my blinking lawnmower won't run. <laughs> he was quite vocal about it. But he said after the instructions that I gave him, uh, his lawnmower is now running as it should do, which is nice to see. So this emulsion tube, this has got holes in here too. I'm just spraying through. I can actually see that this emulsion tube, there is no blocked holes on this emulsion tube. I can see that quite nicely, so that's okay. So I'm gonna spray the rest off, like so. And the last one to do will be this slow idle circuit. Now there is a little tiny jet inside here, and what you're looking for is just to put the straw in and then just give it a bit of a spray, and I can see it's moving. I can see that was actually putting stuff through it should do. So it could just be the fuel itself which is old, tired, and just needed a bit more of a of fresher fuel. So I'll just put that straight in the dirt, see that? All right, I'm gonna push all the stuff to one side and now I'm gonna remove this piece of rag here which has got all the old fuel on it and all the old dirt on it, put that to one side. And we get a fresh bit of fuel. These trays, incidentally, if you want one of these trays, you find on Amazon or eBay, just put in carburetor cleaning silicon tray, silica tray, something like that, it'll turn up. They're about 20 quid. But I like them because you can just put all the bits and bobs in there, you don't lose no bits and bobs. Nothing worse than losing your bits and your bobs. Right, 
car brake and have it put back together. So, most important thing now is to wipe your hands, free of any debris. We don't want to be introducing any more dirt back into this carby. I get my carburetor out. The emulsion tube is the first one to go in. And it'll go in with this little tiny spout here. That'll go in first. Put that in. Then get your main jet with your flat-headed screw facing upwards. Plop him in. Then get your screwdriver, get a bit of a wipe. And that little tiny flat-headed screw, just gently, gently nurse it down. Once it goes down, just screw it down. And once it's seated, just a little tiny nick. It, doesn't, it does not want a lot. Then get your floating needle. That'll go onto there. We get your float pin. That'll go onto there. We're then going to get your your float bowl. Now, here's the ethanol inside this inside this bowl. You see that there? A bit of ethanol in there. Got a bit of a spray up, a bit of a clean up. That's all the ethanol, and that is the reason why this lawnmower didn't start. A good clean. Once that's up, once you're happy with that, you can then put your bowl back on. Now, only one thing to think about with this bowl is when it goes back on and it'll go onto the engine with this bit at the front, okay? Just make sure that your, your, your bleeding or flooding bolt is at the front with that one there, so that lines up with those two. Quite important. And just put your bowl on, your bowl on loosely now. Don't tighten up with, with, a, with an impact. That's gonna be tightened up with a spanner a bit later on. Your slow idle circuit, that can go into the little tiny hole there. Just push that down. It'll only go in one way, guys, guys and girls. So just line it up and push that down into its position. It doesn't go, just be a bit careful with it because those little tiny O-rings, they like to go up in size. And we get our screw, and we're just gonna screw that one down into position. That wants the seat down to touch more. It's not, that's, that, that O-ring is not very happy. So that was just a little bit fiddly. I just had to, just had to hold the, 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 the screw down uh, the, the jet down whilst I then applied a bit of pressure to the back of the screw, but now it's going in. And you want about three threads hanging out the back of that, about there, and that's now well seated as it should do. All I'm going to do is just tighten up this um, this little tiny uh, bowl nut with a, a spanner, and then we can get that fitted back onto the lawnmower. All the parts are now back in there. I haven't forgotten any bits, which is unlike me. I normally forget loads of bits, but uh, there you go. One carburetor now cleaned, ready to be fitted back onto the said lawnmower. Right, so, carburetor is now cleaned, but next thing we have need to do is now need to remove the fuel from the tank that was left in there from last year. So, I'm gonna release my circlips, hemostats, whatever you wanna call them, undo the fuel cap. And so this lawnmower was, was sat inside my shed all winter. So it wasn't, it wasn't actually um, out on the elements. But I'm gonna remove the, all this fuel out of this machine now. And you see the fuel is really yellow. So there must be quite a, quite a big bit of moisture in, in, my, in my shed, but it wasn't wet in here, that's for definite. But this ethanol fuel is not good. So make sure you're using the E5 fuel, guys, if you, if you have to use it, um, any type of ethanol fuel, use the E5 best you can and keep your fuel in high rotation. Let me get it drained out and I'll come back to you as soon as it's done. Right, so fuel is now draining off lovely. And there's a color of the fuel that was left in it from last year. So nice and yellow. If it looks nice and yellow like that, it looks like a urine sample. It looks like something you take to the hospital, chuck it away. Get rid of it, dispose of it properly. It ain't no good. Unleaded fuel will only stay for about 30 days in the UK. So my advice to you is, if you've got a medium, small, medium or large style garden, and you've got one of those five litre cans of fuel, I only put two and a half litres of E5 in and go to a petrol station more often, okay? Now I have just tightened up the, um, the 10 mil nut on the bottom of there, bolt on top on, on the bottom of there. That will now slide on. Let's go past that, Ooh, past that little tiny plastic guard. Cool, that is, that is right in the way there, Mick, isn't it? I'll damage these threads on this, on this carburetor. Oh, we don't like that. We don't like that at all. So, it might be that you have to remove the plastic cover off of that. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the bowl off of a carburetor. Let's remove the bowl again. And that might just give me a lovely leeway to slide that on. 
that's it, and then put the bowl on afterwards. I don't like doing this because you can introduce more dirt and also it's not very easy to get the actual bowl nut back on and get that all slipped on. So I'm now going to fiddle with this for about 10 minutes. And once you get it started, it won't be too bad. It wants that bit there just to be a bit more flatter. Uh, I'm not removing all the plastic covers off of it, that's a certainty. So once you get once you get that bolt started, we will be away. I think it's started now, yeah it has. Right. It's just a bit fiddly guys. But if I can do this, you can do this, right? What I don't want to do is upset that O-ring, you see. Right, get that done up. It's going to take me 10 minutes. Get that done up, and I'll come back to you when I've done so. Right, got that on in the end. Tightened up my, my bowl nut. Now, you can force it through there, but you're gonna, you might just mark the lawn most slightly, okay? But that would have to lift off. I know, I know what, what that ain't cut. So I think you can probably get, you, you, can, you can get around. Just mind the threads on these, um, on these bolts here. Next thing to do, be to hook up the little tiny spring that goes on a small hole, just there. Okay. Sorry, you can't, you're not seeing much, guys, guys and girls, but you know I have to do what I have to do. Governor goes on just like so. Push that nice and tight. Get your gasket. Remember the little tiny hole we talked about earlier on? That hole's over on the left hand side. Stick that on. This will be the hardest bit, and this is where you got this little tiny primer bulb pipe here, which has to go onto here, and then that big pipe here has to go onto that one there. They have to go on. If you don't get them on, it ain't gonna work. Now you won't see a lot of this, because I've got to try and get it all on myself. Now before I go any further, I wanna bring my fuel, my fuel pipe down. Bring my fuel pipe down. And I just wanna sneak my fuel pipe on. Where's my little tiny uh, clamp for that, there it is. Let me bring you guys around just so, so you can see a bit more. I don't want you guys saying I didn't see anything, Nick. People leaving nasty comments. Oh, I didn't see what you were doing. All right, well, pay more attention. Right, so, that goes on there. And then we're gonna slide our fuel pipe on and then hook up our fuel line clip over top. That sits on there. We're gonna tidy my fuel line up. So everything is where it needs to be. Push that away from the governor. That goes on. So now I've got my fuel, my fuel priming lead on, that's on. Just gonna seat that clip down. Now as I swing this round, this pipe here has to go onto that one just there, okay? So I'm gonna swing it round, find its, its home whilst lining up the rest of the carburetor. I can feel roughly where it's gonna go. Where is it? It's gonna be about there. It needs to go on. That would be in line with this bit here. That's where it actually be. That's where it be. It's a bit fiddly, but it will go. Now it can't just sit roughly on there. It's got to, it's got to be on. So if it's not on properly, take it off and try again. It's just fiddly. That's all. These things are sent here to try us, and try us they do. Oh, is that on? Yeah, that's on. Right, that's now on. I can now get my two 10 mil nuts. So grab hold of your nuts. And we're gonna put the two 10 mils on there. And then we're gonna put the air filter back on. And we're then gonna put the, um, the uh, air box cover back on. Not too tight. Just well seat them. Like so. Air filter on. Nice new air filter. Air filter cover box. And that, my friends, is how you clean a carburetor on one of these lovely little Cobra lawnmowers. So now that's done, let's have a bit of a regroup. Right, so Cobra lawnmower now done. I haven't yet fired it up, to be honest. Um, but just want to talk to you about how you can get your hands on this lawnmower. Now this is a Cobra. It is a 
uh, Mike X Ray 460 Sierra Papa Charlie, uh, about 18 inch cut. As I say, it will come with the mulch plug, brand new, and it will come with uh, the side shoot as well. It comes with grass box, it comes with everything. Everything is ready to go. It'll even come with oil in it if you pick it up. It'll even come with petrol in it if you pick it up. But if I have to ship it, then it'll have no petrol or maybe no oil in it also. But if I, if I am, um, if you win this lawnmower, you must be prepared to pay for the shipping for this lawnmower. This is UK and Ireland only, but you must be prepared to pay for the shipping, okay? Um, but you can pick it up from Bognor Regis area. Uh, if you want to come and meet me in person to come and pick up your lawnmower, you can also do that as well. The choice is yours. So, to um, have a chance to win this fantastic little lawnmower, all I want you to do, this isn't like a normal, a normal competition, just say, yeah, yeah, I, I will. I want you to send me an email. Now, my email address can be found in my about page. Um, it can be found in my descriptions. It, it is in places. So you have to go and find my email address. And I want you to email me personally. Send me a personal email saying, hi, Mick, this is Brian. Saw your video, blah, blah, blah. This is the reason why I think I, I, I should have a lawnmower. Give me a reason, and I, I will pick the best one out. You know, and um, if it goes to a charity or if it goes to uh, goes to a fundraising event or whatever it does, I will hand pick out and read out the email on one of my next videos, and I'll let that person know if they've actually won this machine or not. But it's not going to go just to somebody to say, yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, please, I, um, I want the lawnmower, um, blah, 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 blah. Send me an email, a heart to heart email, why you want this machine, and it could be yours. So anyway, that's how you're going to win it. If you don't email, you don't get like that. So there you go, it does run. It just wanted a damn good clean. The new fuel was absolutely shocking. So I'm happy. So now the Cobra lawnmower lives to fight another day. So this lawnmower has only done about 30 minutes worth of a video review. So it wasn't even running for the full 30 minutes. So one thing I recommend is with this lawnmower, once you, uh, if you win it, you're gonna be running this um, as per the manufacturer's guidelines. It's normally about five hours. Run it for five hours, okay, and then change the oil. Um, drain the oil out, and then refill it back up with fresh oil again, and you'll be good to go. And then service it every year, therefore after. So, one Cobra lawnmower, now fully up and running. It's had a quick carburetor clean by yours truly. Mixed mowers and mower man, not professional. Just some bloke in the shed. But if you want to win this lawnmower, then you need to email me the reason why you think you deserve it. And if you do deserve it, I'll let you know. And you can either pick it up from Bogner Regis or um, have it shipped. I'll arrange your shipping for you, no problem. I've got a good company that does it. But you'll have to pay the shipping to get it to your house. And it'll come up just like that, all folded down. Brand new lawnmower, grass box, side shoot. It does, it does do well side discharge as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing for the side discharge just there. Mulching, everything. What do you reckon? Fancy that? Then let's, let's give it away. So if it's the first time you want to mix my and my man, hit your subscribe button, whack your bell, send notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. And I look forward to you guys and guys next time very, very soon on Mixed Mars. But until then, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.